hey guys welcome back in this video we are going to see how to integrate admin panel template in laravel 8 so let's get started with it so this is our project and this is the output so we have made the middleware and we have set the middleware so when the admin logs in he'll be redirected to the admin dashboard so let us see that once login and here at gmail.com okay and this is the admin okay so we are in the admin dashboard so let us integrate a admin dashboard template over here so for that let us search and I prefer this template from creative team and just go to this first link and there are many bootstrap free templates over here so let us take this first one it looks good let us see the live preview of it and this looks quite attractive so let us take this itself close this and click on this and here we are really able to download it so say free download you need to create your account over here so I have already logged in over here and my download is done so I'll just close it and go to your downloads go to downloads and here it is this zip file I'm going to say extract all extract okay so it is extracted this is the folder and we have all the files over here so inside examples you have all the pages so double click on this dashboard.html let us see and yeah that's perfect let us go to that okay and go one step back and say open with code run to full screen and here it is our dashboard.html save and let us open our laravel project and in this resources views and here layouts we have on default app.blade.php file so we are going to create one layout for the admin okay so let us say new file admin dot blade dot php hit enter and just copy everything from your control a and copy and paste it inside this file here just remove all this thing whatever is there inside the body you're directly going to remove it off okay and this fonts not required we'll just remove it we'll keep it simple and clean okay and let us open the template here it is you can see here what are the things linked over here this is the font and this is the font awesome link so let us just copy these two first copy and paste it over here okay let us give some space over here okay and next we require only this one CSS file and this is just for the demo purpose so we are not going to take this so just copy this line copy and paste it over here copy this much and paste this thing so this is for the front end and bootstrap 5 so this is for the admin right so we are not going to use that front end CSS over here and this is we are just removing this and will directly remove the whole line itself okay so this is done so let us create the folder for that inside public create a new folder called admin and inside admin create a new folder of CSS we will remove this we have already pasted it over here so we will remove this and we will directly copy the CSS file and paste it inside this CSS folder so go to the assets CSS and we need material dashboard.css right so material dashboard.css right click on that and copy and right click on the CSS and paste that file okay so close it and save 
so the CSS part is done so let us go to the JS part now and open the template and close this we are just going to fold the wrapper okay so the core JS files is over here let us take this and paste it in our Laravel project so here this is also the front end right so we are not going to use that here so let us start pasting it one by one I'll remove it from here so just copy this and paste it over here we are done with this I'll just copy and paste this three more times control X and paste it over here and next thing just say control X and paste it over here and lastly you're just going to cut that and paste it over here paste remove these things okay save so now inside the body tag what we are going to do is we are going to add the the sidebar and the nav bar so here you can see right this is the sidebar over here so just fold that section and copy that and go to your laravel project here inside layouts we will create a new folder called inc so this will be the includes folder here new file and write sidebar dot blade dot php okay and paste that code paste and close okay this js files we have not included here so that will throw an error inside admin we have css right so let us make another folder here called js so inside js there will be four files over here so let me go here and css inside js core and there are three things here so let me just select these three and copy them and inside this we'll go js and paste it paste so here we have the bootstrap material design and the popper and the jquery so we just need this one right so let us go and take it from this path so it's inside plugins right close this and inside this the name of that was perfect scroll bar okay so we'll go there search for perfect scroll bar here it is just right click and copy and paste it inside our js folder so here it is paste okay save close it and we will just call the correct js path over here so it is inside the admin folder inside admin it is directly js right so instead of this asset we need to make it admin admin js and this core is not there or here so just remove that admin js and these things are directly available here so i'll remove this plugin also from here okay this looks good and for the css also it is inside admin css instead of add sets we are going to make it admin and css done let us close public and we have created the sidebar so let us see what else is there in the template so here it's done sidebar right so inside the main panel we have a nav bar over here so just fold that and copy it from the nav bar copy and go to your laravel project inside the inc just create a new file and we'll write admin nav dot blade dot php hit enter and paste the code over here save and close this file also let's see what's next we'll take the footer also copy and inside inc just create new file enter dot blade dot php hit enter and paste it over here save and close it let us call the sidebar and the navbar and the footer in this page so before that let us see the 
structure so inside the wrapper we have the sidebar okay so first let us copy wrapper and paste it over here and we'll close it okay so inside this we have the sidebar right let's show you so inside this we have the sidebar go there and call include so it is inside layouts dot inc dot sidebar okay save and if you want to just confirm if your path is correct just click control and press on this just click on this so it will take you to that file close it and now what we are going to include is the nav bar okay admin nav so here you can see inside the main panel we have nav and the main panel is inside the wrapper okay so copy the main panel and paste it over here inside the wrapper copy and paste this close div just call it front yes so inside the main panel we are going to call the nav bar okay include layouts dot inc dot admin nav admin nav save okay so let us go to the template and see what's next the content is there right so inside the content the the main content will be okay so let us copy that content and paste it over here and the closing div will just paste it over here and after that we are going to call the footer so I'll just copy this and paste it over here and say admin footer so you can check here inside the main panel itself we have the footer inside this okay now inside the content we need to put the yield of the section name I'll just show you here so inside this content we are going to call our yield say y yield of content okay so this is done and similarly we are going to say here at yield of scripts in case we need to add any scripts in any page we are going to add and that will be over here okay so we'll close the INC layouts and inside the views we are going to create a new folder that will be admin and inside admin first let us create a new file say index dot blade dot php okay so this will be extending that admin blade so let us say layouts dot layouts and it is directly outside our here so let us say admin okay so we have extended that and now we have to directly call the section of content section of content and here we are just going to create a card dot card body enter and say h1 sharma coder save so now we can close this template and here let us rearrange and go to the routes web.php file so when you are in the dashboard right so you have to return the view of the index page so let us say return view and here it is inside admin dot index okay so this means that inside the views folder we have a folder called admin so inside that admin folder the file name is index okay so save and just reload this and you can see you have got this admin panel let us just set up this sidebar we'll remove all the unwanted things and we'll put our project name over here so let us go here and inside the index we are going to go to the layouts inc sidebar and these things we are going to remove it so we'll just leave it okay till here we are going to leave and the rest we'll just remove them remove save and instead of creative team we are going to say eShop and this href I'm gonna put 
hash over here okay let's go to the output and refresh so here it is okay so thank you for watching this video guys in this video we have seen how to integrate the admin panel in the laravel 8 so please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you once again